As an artist looking to build a successful art business, I imagine you might be thinking, what else could you do online to really get your name out there, to help people see more of your artwork or your art services, and of course, ultimately make more sales? Well, in today's video, I'm going to share exactly how to do that and much, much more. Well, hello and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. My name's Sophie, and I help artists just like you to set up, market, and grow a highly successful business doing what you love. And if you'd like to learn more tips and tricks on how to build that successful art business, then you're in the right place. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Now, what strategy is it you're thinking to yourself? If you watch my previous video that I'll put a card to up here, six online, six key online marketing strategies for 2022, then you will know that one of those strategies is called blogging. Now you might say to me, Sophie, isn't blogging dead right now? Surely no one's doing that anymore. And I want to let you know that it's definitely alive and well. And in this video, I want to discuss three reasons why blogging could be a brilliant strategy for you. Number one, it helps bring a lot of traffic to your website. Now, what do I mean by traffic? Traffic, I mean visitors. It brings a lot of visitors to your website. Because I don't know about you, perhaps you've spent a lot of time or a lot of money or both, and you set up a fabulous looking website and nobody is really looking at it. You put it up there, you've even got some work for sale or some workshops advertised. Nobody's coming to the, to the website, nobody's buying anything. And it can be quite disheartening. And I talk about this a lot in other videos that of course, putting up a sales platform like a website is really only one step. And you need a clear marketing strategy to bring people to that website so that they can engage in your content. And of course, ultimately some of them can go on to become customers too. So blogging is one of the best ways to bring consistent traffic to your website. So by writing a regular blog, and I would suggest weekly, now that might sound quite a lot, but actually to have weekly fresh content going onto your website, Google's gonna be very happy about it, but it's also fresh content that your audience can come and read. And you can of course signpost them to that content via an email newsletter, for example. Another strategy I talk about, and if you want to know about email marketing and building your artist's mailing list, then I will put links below this video where you can watch other videos on how to do that. But writing a great blog article, and don't worry, I've got more videos on exactly how to do that, will ultimately help you really build a valuable blog full of lots of content that your audience can come and read and stay on your website. And we know that one of the most important things is not just getting people to the website, but keeping them on there. So by having blogs, articles for them to read, they'll read one, then they're interested, they might click through and read another and read another and read another. Then they might go on to find out a bit about you on the about page. And then of course, scroll across and have a look at what your offerings are. So I believe this is a fantastic reason why you should consider blogging as a marketing strategy in 2022 and beyond, quite frankly. Reason number two, it provides content to share out on social media. Hallelujah. How many of you really struggle to find content to post about on, for example, Instagram or TikTok or Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter or whatever social media platform you're on? To come up consistently with new content can be a bit challenging, right? And here is a fantastic piece of content. And each time you create a post, you have the opportunity to repurpose content from that post into multiple different items that you put out on social media. So I'm sure you're wanting an example here. Here's just a little example. So one blog post can provide five to 10 pins for your Pinterest account. It can provide Instagram posts and or carousel posts. What about an Instagram reel? Make up a reel around the content of your blog article. Sounds like a great idea. The reel could end up going viral and send all these people to the website to read the blog. Sounds perfect, right? Then of course you could do what I'm doing. You could create a short and simple video about the article and have it on YouTube and sign people over to the website. But you also of course post this video on your website so people can watch the video or read the article depends on your target audience and how you think they might like to consume your content. 
You can also create Facebook posts, Twitter posts, LinkedIn posts. Don't forget you can go live on video and talk about the content from your article. So you could take one content piece, one theme, one topic that you want to talk about, write about it, create a little video. You could go live, you can make the reels, you can create posts, moving images, still images. And of course, don't forget plenty of pins. So all of these different pieces of content from one article sounds like a really great reason to go blogging for me. And the number three reason why I think you should consider blogging as a great art marketing strategy right now, and that is you can tell your brand story. Now, how often as artists are we actually hiding perhaps a quite interesting story that people might like to know about? So in a series of blogs, you can write about behind the scenes, what first got you interested, your whole sort of story as an artist. When did you first start? When did you first, for example, pick up a paintbrush or you know, get your hands in some clay? When did you first know that you were creative? What steps did you take? What courses did you take along the way? What different techniques have you tried? What different materials have you tried? Where do you go out and look for inspiration? There are all these different areas that can create a really beautiful brand picture of who you are as an artist and position you really nicely in your niche. All right, so this is, I think, a phenomenal, phenomenal way. And again, it ticks in with the other two points. So you can build your brand awareness, you can create your brand story whilst creating brand new, fresh content on your website, and ultimately, of course, then having all these different pieces that you can post out on social media. So right now, you're probably watching this thinking, why am I not blogging? Now, there's another piece to this that I'm not talking about in this video specifically, but actually, did you know that you can also make money from your blogging as well? So that's a topic for a whole other video. So if you're watching this at time of shooting, I haven't recorded it yet, but it will be coming up in a couple of weeks. If you're watching later, I'll pop links to it below this video as well. So if you're now super excited, you're gonna be saying to me, how do I write that blog article, Sophie? I'm so glad you asked. Look out, it's coming up in the next video. So if you've loved this video, please give me a thumbs up as that helps more people like yourself see this content and enable them to build their successful art businesses as well. And if you've decided to go ahead and consider or try blogging as a marketing strategy, then do leave me a comment below this video and let me know what articles you're thinking of writing. And you can also welcome to put a link to your website so I can have a look at it as well. All right, take care and I'll see you on the next one.